Hey everybody, final thoughts time for World's Fair 1893, and I gotta say I love it. Jen loves it too. This is a wonderful, fast playing, practically a filler, slightly bigger than a filler, but it's a really quick game, as you can tell, because I actually made it through an entire run through, which normally I don't do. It's just so fast and so fluid and fun from start to finish. Now, I've been a fan of designer uh, J. Alex Kevern for quite a while, and this game came out five years ago. I think it was the first game that Alex did with Renegade Studios, and since then, uh, they've been entered into a really uh, successful partnership where he's put out Sentient and Succulent and Prowler's Passage, several games. I thought they've all been great, but this, this might be my favorite of his. No, 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 Gold West is hard to top. There's no two ways about it. But this is right up there as one of Alex's best designs. And um, the reason for it is because of, uh, of the entanglement that you find. And this is actually something that I'm starting to notice in more and more games. It looks like maybe Alex was a little bit ahead of the curve five years ago. The idea that on your turn, every turn you, every action you do has two impacts because two disparate, separate things are entangled with each other. Uh, you know, I care about the area control. But I also care about which cards am I going to collect. And I also care about what cards are going to get placed after I'm done. So every decision, single decision I make has three consequences that can have huge ramifications. And that entanglement of different ideas is wonderful. In fact, the more I see it, the more I think it's becoming my new favorite gameplay mechanism of all time. And I should give credit where credit is due to Seth Jaffe, uh, a really talented designer uh, and a friend of mine who uh, said, yeah, I, I call that entanglement. Um, you know, selection entanglement or drafting entanglement or whatever. You, the idea, action entanglement, that one action affects multiple things that, uh, you know, by themselves are, are really separate. I love it here. It works so well and it makes for compelling decisions from start to finish. And um, not for nothing, it also makes for an area control game that works wonderfully at two, which is a very rare beast as well. So I got to doff my cap to Alex for that. But I also have to doff my cap to Renegade Games. Like I said, this was originally published five years ago. I'm playing today with the, um, I guess, the fifth anniversary edition of it or something like that. Um, you know, it has a new box cover, which is really classy and nice looking. But more importantly, one of the things that Renegade Studios did is, for this re-release, they collaborated with a historian, Jade, let's see, I looked up her name, let me see if I can find it, uh, Jade R. Rogers, a historian who was able to inform them about more to do with the World's Fair 1893 and and the uh, how it reflected the uh, the the American experience in time, specifically related to people of color, because they were largely absent from the World's Fair, and people of color were largely absent from the original printing five years ago. And so Renegade decided, hey, let's do better. Let's actually um, try to make a game that is more inclusive, has a broader remit, and let's bring in an expert to help us do that. And so for this new reprint, I think there were five or six new cards added. You saw several of them in the play, like Frederick Douglass and stuff like that. And um, it also comes with a very well-written um, you know, minor article from Jade in the rulebook talking about the real history, the ups and the downs of World's Fair. And I gotta say, chef's kiss to Renegade for doing this, for setting an example that I think the rest of the industry could really um, learn from, because... Whenever you're going to make a board game that is set in real historical times, yes, you could just say, ah, it's just a game, who cares? Or you could take the opportunity to actually do something that informs and enlightens your gameplay audience. And that's what World's Fair now does. And it's so much better for it. And I just want to shout from the rooftops, good job, Renegade. Other publishers, follow in their lead. Um, never mind the fact that it's just a really fun fast, fluid game that is just a blast to play, but it's something more now. And I think it's also a beacon that the rest of the industry can look towards. Uh, and it's fantastic. It's just, it's just absolutely wonderful. I mean, I've got nothing but great things to say about World's Fair 1893. The gameplay and the presentation, but most importantly, the, um, the love and craft and care that went into the production to actually bring in experts to help make it a more well-rounded experience. I love it. This is fantastic. And um, once again, great job, J. Alex Kevern. Great job, Renegade Games. Great job, uh, J. Dar Rogers. Thanks, everybody, for giving me uh, a wonderful experience here with World's Fair 1893. And those are the final thoughts, folks. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Bye-bye.